perfectly in there. Ah. Moin Moin YouTube. I'm currently working on a bigger, a bit more complicated project. Uh, but as a side effect of this project, I created this here, a little 3D printed mini-me. <laughs> And since I had the CAD files for a bust of my head, I figured why not make a little side project to the main project, which is also a side project, I don't know, and turn a 3D printed bust of myself into a gypsum bust of myself. Hello! Hmm. Now to do this, you need a couple of things. A 3D printed bust, a knife, soft soap, a brush for the soft soap, a big measuring cup or two, a big bucket in which you can mix stuff, a smaller bucket into which the bust fits, a stick, gypsum, about two kilograms of alginate, glue or any kind of adhesive, and a hand mixer. And let's not forget a strap, which I totally didn't forget to put into the shop. Totally not. Now, two things before we get started. First, I will not be covering how to create this bust in this video. There are plenty of great tutorials on this out there. I'll leave a link to the tutorial by the 3D Printing General that I used uh, in the comments down below, uh, description down below. Secondly, um, the audio on this is not the greatest. I unfortunately don't have a wireless microphone for longer distances yet. Um, so forgive me for that. Um, once I do have a proper microphone, I'll probably redo it. By the way, in case you don't have a resin printer and want smooth surfaces, simply cover the FDM printed bust with latex milk and let it dry. That will smoothen out the print temporarily. Plus, you'll be able to do a very satisfying peel afterwards. Now, let's get to it. For the first step, we are going to attach the bust to the, well, stick. We're gonna <laughs> stick it to the stick. Um, for that, I am using hot glue. Uh, you can pretty much use any other kind of adhesive. It's just that you want something where you are sure that it has quite a bit of adhesion um, because we're going to stick it upside down into, oh, into uh, a bucket and there's going to be quite a bit of pull and force on it. So you really want to make sure that, you know, it well, sticks. There's only so many ways how we can say stick, right? Okay. Now, let's just add some more here on the sides to make sure that we really get that adhesion that we need. And also some more here. Good. Now we got that taken care of. We can put it on the side. And next up, take care of preparing the bucket. Now, what we are going to do in the end is we are going to stick the bust upside down into this bucket. And in this bucket we have the alginate and we will submerge the bust into it. Um, the thing is that while alginate itself doesn't really stick to anything, how it bonds with anything, um, there's still quite a bit of surface volume there, um, considering that uh, uh, we, have, we, we fill it up with the alginate. So that'd be quite a bit of friction. What we are going to use is soft soap and basically smear it around the inside of the bucket to make sure that in the end, the alginate block just slips right out of it. Let me just get this done here real quick. Okay, that should be good enough. Now obviously we have a lot of soap now sticking to the inside of that bucket. And if we were to just put in the alternate powder right now, it would just, you know, stick to the soap. So we have to pre prepare the alternate mixture in a separate bucket. And then essentially once it's mixed, pour it into the bucket and then submerge the bust into it. So that's what we're going to tackle next. The problem with not having a proper studio. Can't film when it's raining. God damn it. <laughs> uh. Now, let's uh, get started on the alternate before the rain starts downpouring again. 
This bucket here has uh, 3.7 liters of volume. Now, when, you, when I purchased this, it said it had 3 liters of volume, which of course it is, because the manufacturer measures it, well, all the way up here, but not to the very top of the bucket. So, whichever vessel you're going to use, make sure that you actually measure it by pouring water into it and then, you know, pouring that water into a measuring cup uh, to know the exact measurements. Now, this has 3.7 liters and we want to fill it up with the alginate mixture into which we're going to dump the bust. You might think about subtracting, uh, subtracting the volume of the bust. Um, my personal recommendation is to not do that, the volume of the, the bust. Um, because the math behind mixing the alginate isn't all that accurate. Which is, um, you want for one part of alginate, three parts of water. So if you have a liter, uh, a kilogram of alginate, you want to have three liters of water, which kind of ends up being around about four liters. Not quite, but that's why I said this. it's a bit uh, inaccurate. Um, now, since this bucket has 3.7 liters of volume, um, we can do the math here, and we end up with 925 grams of alginate and about 2.77 liters of water. Now, the chemical reaction here, and what's going to happen here in a second, will be very quick, so just a couple of words before. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in the cold water. Cold is important because then it takes longer for that stuff to harden. Then I will use a mixer to stir it all and make sure that it actually becomes a homogeneous mass and then I will pour that mass into this bucket here with the soap. Um, now this has to be done rather quick so I will kind of just rush through it and talk talk about it a little bit. Now, here I have the bust ready, I have the alternate ready, I have the bucket ready, I have the water ready. We should be good. Okay, let's do this. First of all, pour in the water. Make sure that you try to bind as much of the alternate already in this process, so don't just pour the water into one place. Actually, kind of go in a circular motion to get as much of the alginate already wet as possible. Once you've got that done, you can start steering. Now I won't steer it completely inside this bucket because the time is a bit too precious for that. Instead, I'm now going to pour it into the new bucket. Let me see if I can fill it. Yeah, no, not visible. Getting it in there nicely. Oh man, there's still quite a bit of unsolved alternate. Let's stir that in there. Um, but uh, because my mixer kind of doesn't fit too perfectly in there, uh, I have to do it this way. Now, when submerging the bust, make sure that you do give it quite a bit of motion and make sure that you know, as you see what I'm doing here, because that is what's effectively going to remove the air bubbles on the surface of the bust. So doing this will help to get a smoother um, negative of the print of the bust. Let's hope, let's hope you're good. Yeah, Future Max here. That level of movement is not enough. My advice, get your hands in there and actually smear the alginate onto the bust just to make sure that there really is no air bubbles on the bust surface. Now this, we're gonna have to let sit for around uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. You can actually tell that it's hardened because um, when it's done, you won't be able to push your finger into it anymore. It becomes kind of like a gelatinous or almost rubber-like mass. Um, so let's let that sit here for a while. All right, I've taken the time off camera to clean up here a little bit and uh, 
prepare the next step. So what needs to be done now is the alginate needs to get out of the bucket. For that, just take a regular spoon and go a little bit around on the edges. Um, filthy bucket. Ah, there you go. Ta-da! And they have it, a very beautiful blob of blue. <laughs> now it's quite a bit, you know, because of the, the soap, it's quite slippery and slimy, but that's why I'm wearing this damn lab coat. Now what we are going to do is pretty straightforward. We're just going to use a knife, slice it open on the back of the hat, peel it open a little bit, and then uh, get out the plastic, uh, the three printed part. Go. Oh, I see it. Oh, brain's picking up. So let's just get this out, and then wait until the rain passed. Here we go. Wah. There's the hat. There we have it. Well, decent mold. A couple of air pockets, but we'll figure it out. Now let's quickly do the last bit here. Um, we really just need um, this um, strap here to close this uh, alternate block. Just pull it around tightly. Uh, take a quick look inside, now it looks good. Now it's all set already with that. Now we are going to create the uh, gypsum mixture. Now, the thing when working with gypsum is you want to make sure that you steer it long enough. Um, gypsum has the habit, if you just put in a little bit of water and use a spoon and stir it really quick, it tends to become a very weird texture, get a very weird texture. So we are going to mix the gypsum with water and then also use the mixer here and then quickly pour it in there. Now the rain keeps picking up, but this one's pretty much a no-brainer. So I'll just see it through and um, then we're going to let it harden and we'll take a look at the final result. Okay. Now it's gypsum, so let's be quick. So the air bubbles rise up. Let's get the alginate into the center of the camera here and let's just pour it in there. Like I said, this uh, three printed part had about 500 milliliters of volume, so I created a gypsum mixture in accordance with that, just to give you a couple of pointers there. Um, if you have about 500 milliliters of volume that you need to fill, you will need about 500 grams of gypsum and take 65% of that and that is the amount of water that you want to add to it. So 500 grams of gypsum and what was that, like three and a half, 350 milliliters of water. Okay, let's take a look at what we have. For that, of course, we need to release the strap go then we're going to open this up here <laughs> oh man this is sort of gross ah, need to yank it out a little bit ah, come on come out there bam ta-da <laughs> well it does need a little bit of cleaning up but hey Pretty good. Like I said, please try smearing the alternate onto the surface a bit more to get rid of those blobs. And that is all that I have for you today. Oh my god, that is so lame. Okay, that's all I have for you today. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with the result of this, given that I haven't done this a ton. Um, pretty good. Um, please leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, probably check out one of my other videos, and um, See you in my next video. Tschüss.